Hey there. Hi. Can I give you like a, a cup of coffee? No. Okay, thanks, Mr. Fitz. If you can call me Ezra. No, I can't. But I can try. Have a seat. So, Arya mentioned you're taking the English makeup exam this Thursday. Yeah, and then chem and history next week and Spanish after that. Great. Well, I'm glad we can start with a language I actually speak in, but not always so well. Did you like the novel? Yeah, it was okay. Ending was kind of sad. Emily, I'm... I'm so sorry about... Maya. We don't have to talk about that. No, I know. But it's just that I wanted you to know that. I'm just sorry. Your friend Mona deserves to be drawn and courted. And given what she's done, I understand you want to punish her. It's not why I came here. I just lost it. I've done worse. I once threw a bowl of soup across the room when visiting my dad. In a place much like this, worse. Wait, your dad was in a nut house? For years. He checked out my life when I was 10 traded our family room for the chaos inside his head. You made your friend down the hall seem downright chatty. She won't even apologize. Then you have to accept that, Hannah. You've lost someone whom you trusted. Then you might be grieving for the Mona you didn't know as much as for the one you did. Yeah, I'm getting really tired of losing people. And this is particularly hard because Mona's right in front of you. In clinical terms, we call it ambiguous loss. What? There's been a death, but it doesn't involve a body. Like when a soldier goes missing, or a relative slips into dementia. They're gone, but yet still here. <laughs> 